All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today in this video, showing you how to store your Cardano ADA using a Ledger or a Trezor hardware device on the Daedalus wallet really excited to see now hardware support. We're gonna go through the entire process of storing your Cardano ADA using a hardware device and even delegating your ADA to a Cardano stake pool. So lots to talk about here in this video today. If you guys are interested in this type of content, be sure to drop a like for me. If you wanna stay up to date with relevant Cardano news, information, and how-to videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we are here at the computer and we're taking a look at the Ledger Live application. So I've got my Ledger Nano S connected to my desktop. And essentially what we need to do is to make sure that the firmware on the Ledger hardware device is up to date. So I did go ahead and do that. The current firmware version is 1.6.1. If you do have an update required for your Ledger device, make sure you are on the latest version. After you go about doing that, you wanna head over to the manager section. And then from here, we're going to look for the Cardano ADA application. So this is a brand new Ledger hardware device. I wanted to show you the process step-by-step step if you are a brand new user so you guys know exactly what the process looks like. Essentially what we can see here, after we've got the Bitcoin application installed, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Cardano ADA. Over here where it says install, we'll need to click on that. Now what this is going to do, it's going to install the application on our hardware device. Might take a couple seconds for that to happen. And after it's finished installing, if we use the buttons here to scroll over, we can see now there is Cardano ADA loaded up on our hardware wallet. So that's exactly what we want to see. That is essentially the entire process of being able to add the application to your hardware device. You do also want to make sure if there is an update for the application, make sure you do that as well. Current Cardano ADA application version is on 2.0.4. So after we've went ahead and installed the correct application, we need to head over to the Daedalus wallet. I'll be sure to leave all the links for you guys down in the description below if you do need to download a Daedalus wallet or if you don't already have a Ledger hardware device, be sure to check out the links down in the description so you can grab yours. Now that we're ready to connect our Ledger wallet to Daedalus, we can go ahead and click on pair a hardware wallet device. This is currently available for the Ledger Nano S, the Ledger Nano X, and the Trezor Model T. So you wanna make sure that you're using any of those hardware wallet devices. What we're gonna do from here on our Ledger wallet, we're gonna open up the ADA application by pressing both buttons. And we should see the prompts here on our Daedalus wallet. The next option we see is the export public key on your device. So this is going to be something we'll need to do. We can go ahead and confirm by pressing on both buttons. It's saying confirm export public key. To confirm, we'll need to press on the right button. And there it is. So now we can see on our Daedalus wallet, the balance is going to be catching up with the rest of the blockchain. So nothing else that we need to do on our Ledger Nano wallet. We need to pretty much just let this sync. This is going to get connected to the rest of the network. Uh, this is definitely going to take some time. Of course, Daedalus does have a full copy of the entire blockchain. So what you want to do from here, go ahead and grab a book, grab yourself a cup of tea, and we'll come back as soon as it's loaded. So it took a little bit of time, but the Ledger Nano S has now synced up with the blockchain. So we can see here, this is a brand new device. So there is no ADA that is currently on this wallet. The next thing for us to do is to send ADA to our hardware wallet. Now, a question that I've been receiving a lot from people who are interested in using the Ledger wallet is, will you have to re-delegate your ADA if you're currently using Daedalus or Uroi to delegate your stake? Now, what's gonna come down to is gonna be the staking key. So let's say, for instance, if you were using a Ledger or a Trezor wallet on something like Uroi or Ada Lite, your staking key has already been registered with that wallet. We're actually gonna go through that entire process here. What we need to do next is actually go through and send some ADA to our wallet. So in order to do that, we're gonna click on receive and it's gonna give us a whole bunch of different addresses that we're able to use to receive ADA. So in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and generate an address and use this to send some funds over to my wallet. 
And there it is. So we have successfully sent the ADA to our Ledger Nano S. We can now see that both transactions have showed up in the wallet balance. So really cool. The next part is going to be the fun part. We get to now delegate to a stake pool. In order to do that, what we need to do is click over to the delegation center on the left-hand side of the Daedalus wallet. It's going to look like a cluster of dots. It's the second icon here on the left side. So when we click on that icon, it's going to take us to our delegation center. What we can see here is a list of all the available wallets within Daedalus. We've got the available balance to delegate. And then on the right hand side, we can see the current delegation. Right now it shows that the wallet is currently undelegated. So we'll need to go ahead and choose a stake pool. In order to do that, we can go ahead and click on the tab at the top that shows stake pools. And this is gonna populate all of the available Cardano stake pools that are available to delegate to. Currently there are over 1,270 different stake pools that you're able to delegate to. So a lot of different options. What we're gonna do for the sake of this video today is go ahead and delegate to Chrono stake pool. So what we'll need to do is type in the ticker of the stake pool we'd like to delegate to. More information on Chrono stake pool in another video to come, but essentially with Chrono stake pool, we're going to be using the funds generated from that operation to be able to help fund developers who are interested in building on Cardano, as well as artists, other creatives, content creators, anybody who is interested in providing value within the Cardano community can delegate to Chrono stake pool so that they're able to earn rewards and help the advancement of the ecosystem. So essentially that's what we're doing with Chrono Stake Pool. When we click on the tile after we type in the ticker, we can see all the relevant information related to that pool. We can see here the pool name, the description, we've got a link to the website, and we've got a whole bunch of different options here in regards to the metrics. If you are interested in learning more about what these metrics mean, you can actually click on this question mark, and this will actually just give you a little snippet of the details on what that particular metric means. Now, once we've decided that we wanted to delegate to this pool, we can go ahead and click down at the bottom where it shows delegate to this pool. So I'll click on that and then click on continue. And then from here, it's going to ask us to choose the wallet, which we'd like to delegate. It does show here that a minimum amount of 10 ADA is required for delegation. So just something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and select the Ledger Nano S and let's go ahead and click on continue. It does show us here the current pool we've selected, but then in the instance that you did want to delegate to any of these other pools, it does also show a list of some available stake pools as well. But in this instance, Chrono stake pool is the correct pool we'd like to delegate to. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now what it's showing here, it's going to go through the process of generating a transaction. So on our ledger wallet, we can see here it's saying start a new transaction. And what we can see at the top, it shows the fee is going to be 2.17 ADA. Now essentially this is an initial fee of being able to register your staking address on the blockchain. So this is going to be an initial step. So after you've already paid this 2.17 ADA fee, you will no longer need to do that in the form of re-delegating. Essentially it's just a 0.17 ADA fee after that. So this is just an initial step to register your staking address. So let's go ahead and confirm this transaction. I'm going to go ahead and confirm by pressing on the right button here. And then it's showing here the available transaction fee. Let's go ahead and move through that. This is showing 0.17 ADA. I guess that's for the delegation and then the registration is that additional two ADA. So we'll need to confirm by pressing both buttons at the same time. It's saying transaction time till live. So it shows the current epoch and slot. Let's go ahead and continue by pressing both buttons. Now it's saying register staking key. So this is exactly what I was mentioning with that two ADA in terms of the fee. So this is an initial step. So you won't need to do this every time that you delegate. This is just the initial step because this is a brand new wallet. So I'm gonna confirm by pressing on both buttons. Now it's asking us to confirm the registration. So I'm gonna press on the right button. Delegate stake pool. And then it shows us the stake pool ID underneath that. So that looks good. We'll click on both buttons. Staking key, let's go ahead and press on both buttons again. Confirm the delegation. So we'll confirm by pressing on the right button. Confirm transaction, again, the right button. Export public key. We'll go ahead and press on both buttons again. Right button again. And now we can see that the transaction is confirmed. Let's just go ahead and click on confirm over on our Daedalus wallet. 
Now what this is going to do, it's going to broadcast the transaction to the rest of the network. So that's really all that we need to do as it comes to our Ledger hardware wallet. The rest we're going to be able to see here using the user interface for Daedalus. Now we can see here that the wallet has been successfully delegated. So the stake from your Ledger Nano S is now delegated to Kronos Stake Pool by Kaizen Crypto. Very cool. And it's saying that these preferences will take effect after both the current and the next epoch have concluded. As far as when you are expecting to earn rewards, it's going to be after those two initial epochs. So we'll click on close. And now what we can do if we go over to our delegation center, we can see here that it shows the previous delegation. So we were previously undelegated and now we are delegated to Chrono Stake Pool. So that's gonna take effect from Epoch 237. So guys, that is pretty much the entire process of being able to delegate your Cardano ADA using a Ledger hardware device on the Daedalus wallet. So pretty straightforward process. Of course, if you guys do have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the comments section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here today. Hopefully you now have a better idea of how to use the Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet along with Daedalus to store your Cardano ADA. Of course, if you guys do have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I'm gonna do my best to help answer any questions for you. If you did enjoy this type of content and if you wanna help support the channel, please also consider delegating to Kaizen, Krishna, and Chrono Stake Pool. All right, everyone, thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.